Sean Paul Taylor. I'm the team lead of gaming R&D at BlackBerry. And I'm here with Adam Blake, who's on my team. And he was the prime developer for the gamepad support on BlackBerry 10. That's right. So today we're going to show a couple of sample apps running with a couple of gamepads connected to BB10. So I'll start with the SteelSeries free here. Um, and first things first, of course, when you get your new device, you got to connect it. So you can go into Bluetooth settings here and you're going to turn the device on. And for the Steel Series, you hold down the A button until that light starts to flash next to it. And uh, then on the settings screen, you're going to have to refresh the list of devices and look for the new device to show up there. There it is. So for everyone, it'll start up peripheral, right? Yeah, that's when it doesn't know the name of it, and it resolves the name see, to Steel Series Free there. And it's powered by Zmote. So that's the full name. And now, of course, you wait for it to pair, and then to connect to HID. And now, when you go and you run a game that supports the GamePad API, it should be able to receive input events from the GamePad just like uh, any other input event, like a touch event or a keyboard event. Great. So this here is the Racer sample, a sample of Gameplay 3, a cross-platform game framework that we developed here. Oh, look at that control right away. And yeah, so you can see uh, as I control it, right, I'm using the analog sticks uh, and, of course, nice physical buttons, which I like. Uh, when you don't have a gamepad connected, we do this usual mobile game thing where you've got you know, you got a couple buttons here, and you got a joystick over here, and they're just on the touch screen. You use your thumbs on the touch screen. But of course, when you do this, uh, for starters, your fingers aren't in the you way. You got great tactile feedback. Yeah, yeah. On and the you, control, and you can you, you can you really can control the buttons. TV, right? so you don't miss buttons. Like a console experience. There. Nice. Okay. So uh, it's pretty good. Um, and I can so see you disconnected the. Uh, that's a little sample there. <laughs> um, so that's the first sample I wanted to show. Okay. And uh, then the next one is uh, a little less flashy. It's not quite as exciting. As so, so what does this mean for what do you what do you want to tell people that this means for for game developers? Like, how would they in integrate this into their game? Well, I mean, that's kind of what this is about because this is uh, the sample code that comes with the API. It's up there on GitHub. Um, it's linked to from the tutorial. There's a tutorial that kind of goes through some code snippets from this app and just shows you the very basics of handling input, right? So yeah, I push up on the D-pad and the up arrow lights up, right? Um, I move the sticks around and then move around. Okay, so I'll tell everyone, so because they, they're not everyone knows. Okay, so so for 10.0 on the BlackBerry 10, uh, we've added support for Steel Series mm -hmm. free, um, and we also supported the 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 Wiimote. the Wiimote for fun, right? And yeah. uh, what we've also added in coming in ten point one will be game tell support, so you can show them there. Yeah, this one's this one's cool because it's uh, it fits a BB ten device in the clip here, right? It extends. That's right. You pull it out, and so you can bring that with you wherever yeah. you want. This is good on the bus or whatever, right? So. Nice. Uh, okay, so why don't we show? Well, a lot of, some people were asking me, how do you pair uh, the Wii mote? Okay. Um, because I know it's a little bit different than with your Wii, right? Which well, uses the Wii Sync button in the inside, well, right? Well, yeah. So. I mean, I think I'm not sure. I don't have a Wii. There's this red button in here. We don't use that. Um, so all you'll do is again go to the Bluetooth settings screen, hold the one and the two buttons. So you hold the one and the two buttons. And now for this one, you have to wait for it to resolve the name. So we know what type of device it is. So it says peripheral at first. Yeah. The and then you're going to, oh, Nintendo RVL. There it is. Yeah, that's it. Pairing and in progress. It looks like it's just nice. So now, uh, and here's a, here's a fun thing about this test app ah. is that you can have both controllers working at the same time so I can awesome. play with Awesome. Multiplayer buttons. gaming. Yeah, exactly. Sitting down on the couch. So, so the big thing will be is that we're announcing this to game developers because phase one is getting the game developers out there and incorporating the game so we can get a lot of game support. I know we have a lot of support already started with Unity 4 integrating in and a lot of other uh, partners that are already jumping on board to add support and we're adding more game pads as we go for each release with the automatic button mappings in the API, right? So. Yeah, of course. Working on Very it. exciting. If you have any feedback, let us know. Mm -hmm. um, for sure, I'm excited to keep improving it and make sure uh, that it makes this possible. I mean, it shouldn't be hard, right, to get your game to work with gamepads. Uh, it should just be something that games can do. So, awesome. Yeah. So serious gaming.